Hello friends, Audie G here and welcome to my studio. Today I'm going to take you with me on a ride that I've been on for the last few weeks. I've been so happy creating these little people on sticks for my original artwork. I've been giving them for swaps that I was behind on and listed a few in my shop on my website. I personally think they would make great stocking stuffers or gift tags. But before we dig into this quick video that I hope inspires you in your own art journey, I need to get the elephant out of the room. I mentioned this on my other social media accounts, and since I've been away from YouTube for quite a while, I feel I need to do the same here. First of all, thanks to all of you who have stuck around. Your support has meant the world to me. A year and a half ago, my father entered into the last phase of Alzheimer's disease. I thought I was prepared as I walked daily with him during his decline for five years. I was not as prepared as I thought I was when I said the final goodbye six months ago. Then three weeks after I buried him, my mom's identical twin, who was the family matriarch, and my second mom got leukemia and died eight weeks later. I just needed time to figure out how to live my life again with the two major blows so close together. Thank you for giving me that time and space. I'm much better now, and during that time, my art became my source of dealing with these losses. It also evolved and has taken a new direction, it seems. So, okay, with the elephant out, let's talk about this project. What I've done is taken scans of my original art that I created, shrunk them down, and then printed them off in a laser jet printer. It's important that you use laser jet because when you apply the matte medium to stick them on to the wooden stick, it doesn't smear the ink. An inkjet printer just, just makes everything a huge mess. So I highly recommend, if you're going to do this, that you invest in, in a laser jet printer. What I did is use the Tim Holtz die, cut out the wings and the craft paper, was really impressed with the color and the wording that I wanted to include in the wings. Now I'm taking soft matte gel and I'm going to apply the laser jet print to the wood piece. Make sure that the head is straight in the middle. Up. And secure it with the rest of the matte medium. I always like to do the middle first and then work on the sides last. Scoring them with scissors makes it easier to fold. I'm not going to worry about the back right now because we're actually going to put a piece on the back to cover that up later.
you guys aren't ready to venture into this project to make your own and you want one for a stocking stuffer for someone special or a gift tag I have these available for sale on my website howtogart.com I really do hope you'll give it a try though it's a really fun thing to do like I said I've been addicted to these for several weeks it's like I wake up and I see angels on sticks angels on tags and that's what I do is just keep on keeping on I'm securing the back piece with more of the non-toxic Yes paste. Once it's dried a little bit, then I'm going to actually take a knife to it to take off the edges. I'm just going around and adding a few little fine details. Embellish a little more on her. I'm using the same twine that I used on the original piece and her hair is the headband to wrap around her waist here. It's so good to be back with you guys. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. I hope to see you guys real soon. Take care.